Hi everyone, welcome to the Rubbish Review. In today's episode, we're looking at the Men's Tactical Waterproof Windproof Zipper Pockets Hard Shell Jacket. <laughs> it's from the Blerican website. The exact same jacket appears to be sold on several sites, actually. Here is the website I ordered it from. Looks like a pretty cool jacket, and not a bad price at $111.99 Canadian, provided it is as described. Plus, free worldwide shipping for orders over $89, so I figured if I buy one, I'll either get a nice new winter jacket, which I need, <laughs> or I'll get ripped off and I'll have something to do a video about. It. Guess how it went? <laughs> no, don't guess. I'll show you. So I went ahead and ordered one of these. I placed the order right at 12 noon, November 3rd, and at 12.03, I got an email from my credit card company alerting me to an international transaction. Huh, they charged my credit card the moment I ordered. How about that? One minute later, at 12.04, I got the order confirmation from Blarican. It says my order will be dispatched within seven days. Hmm. Oh, crap. Size M. I forgot to change the size before I ordered. So I need to fix my order. Another thing I noticed was the $13.80 shipping. Wait a sec. The very first screen said free shipping. Okay, so now they charge shipping anyhow. Looks like the only thing I can do is cancel the order and start again. However, if I click on the cancel button, I get this. There's so no way to adjust an order right after making it. I tried clicking on the contact customer support link and filled in the entire form. Every time I try to send it, I get a service mail error. Then I found an email address on the page, service at blurican.com. I sent an email to that address. At 11.58 that evening, I got a delivery notice from Blurican that says they have shipped it already. Seems a bit quick, but okay. Then at 2.55 the next morning, November the 4th, I got an email from Norman, which starts with, thank you for contacting us on this matter, and we are sorry for the delay in your order. Hmm. Norman goes on to say that they can no longer change the size since the item is shipped out already. This is on November the 4th. The jacket eventually arrived 25th of November. I noticed there was a tracking link in the email, so it was after the jacket arrived that I tried that just to see what sort of journey it had been on. Based on this, it looks like it shipped from Gangzhou on November the 9th. Definitely not on the 4th, as Norman said. All right, that's enough of the flag. I think we get the message. This is looking pretty sketchy. So bottom line is that they charged my card instantly, and there is no way to make a change to the order, even though it didn't ship for several days. Okay, fine. One more time. So, 21 days after ordering, it arrived. Let's check it out. So first impression is, this feels more like a shirt than a winter coat. It feels very light. The stitching looks good, but if you go a little deeper, here's a little flappy thing that covers a pocket on the sleeve. If you look under it, you'll see on the edge of the material, it's, it's all sticking up. Inside one of the zippers, you can also find the edges. You can see this is already starting to come apart and I haven't even worn it yet. Here is a zipper on the sleeve. Uh, hmm. it doesn't go anywhere. There's nothing there, it's fake. These strips on the sleeve look like they're supposed to be for the NATO standard Molly system for attaching gear. However, these ones have been sewn flat, so there's no way they could be used. They're just for decoration. Really getting a cosplay vibe from this. It's made to look like something it really isn't. Moving on, let's look at the description from the website. The description lists interior hammock pockets and interior zippered pockets. Uh, there's no sign of those in here. The description also says there are 12 pockets, but I can only find six. Elbow insert sleeves for padding protection. So you could add padding for the elbows. Here it is. Huh. They're sewn shut, so these are fake too. Here is the articulated spine. Okay, it's articulated all right. Forearm pocket for external watch attachment. It's got to be this one, but it's just a fake pocket. The lining inside is just this black material. Looks like polyester, perhaps? Doesn't seem to be anything between this layer and the outer layer of cloth. There's a tiny bit of padding in the articulated back. Okay, let's see what's inside this coat. I'm going to cut the liner so we can have a look. Hmm. Not much of anything but between the inside and the outside. Matter of fact, nothing. The only padding is on the fake articulated spine, and it's this little bit of white stuff here. Other than that, there's nothing between the inside and the outside of this, just two layers of cloth. I notice there are very few tags on this item. Inside, the only tag is M 
for medium. So the Canadian Textile Labeling Act prohibits a dealer from selling consumer textile articles unless they are labeled with fiber content and dealer identification in accordance with the Act and regulations. Pretty straightforward. That would certainly include something like this coat. Actually, this item goes against pretty much the entire Act. <laughs> it's illegal for this coat to be imported into Canada and likely many other countries too. And yet, here it is, brought to me by Canada Post. So this is definitely not what was described on the Blairican website. If I had purchased this as a Christmas gift or something like that, it would have been very disappointing. Another case of bait and switch. How about this? If this is what the website actually shows, then should I be able to do this? Oof. There's not much fabric here. <laughs> so what if I'm feeling sad and ripped off? Can I return the coat? Well, sure. They have a return policy on the website. However, you can only get a refund in the form of a store cash code. So the only thing I can do is return this fake product so I can buy another fake product. Once they have your money, that's it. You're not getting it back. <clears throat> On top of that, you have to pay all shipping costs to get it back to China. So there you have it, a totally fake product that is illegal to import into Canada. I won't be buying anything else from these scammers, but I wanted to make this video so that you would know before you buy. Shop carefully. See ya. Hey, if you like this video, why not try this one?